Whoa, guys, check that out. So this is my 10th and 9th Dr. Tardis interior. And I want to show you this because it's something I built a few years ago now, probably even five years ago, and I just had it sort of sitting around and I'm finally able to show you. So if you see my 8th Dr. Tardis mock, it's pretty much the part 2 to all of that. Right, so uh, here's the 8th Dr. Tardis interior that I made. I made these two, and so that was pretty cool. And then of course there's that set. So this is the Doctor Who official Lego set. That's the 11th and 12th Doctor one. Now while 12 is my favorite, one of my other favorites is 10 and so i made this during when i was actually watching doctor who for the first time so that would have been like 2016 so yeah about five years and so holy crap this is cool <laughs> so this is i think it's supposed to be the 10th doctor one not the ninth um and it is pretty accurate for the most part so let's go over it so of course we got a raised platform um with some steps leading down to the tardis door which is blue there's the uh the payphone because you know it's a police box so they ha it has a phone built into it you know so that's pretty cool uh, over here we got that weird little like railing piece that's in there this TARDIS is so like torn up and and very cheap looking because it's so old that um, it's really <laughs> I don't really know what to call it then of course there's that weird chair that he has that just sort of sits there with the railing behind it so you know I think that one's actually pretty accurate it's a bit clunky and stuff but I think it does it pretty well like, I mean, a figure can actually sit on it. Here's 11. It almost falls apart on you, but... <laughs> oh my god, just sit. Yeah. And then, of course, we get to the TARDIS piece itself, the actual time rotor. So, up here is just the top of it. It's not really too interesting, but, of course, we got the actual time rotor. So, it's supposed to be blue, and then it has, like, green tubes on the inside. I didn't know how to make that too well, so I just put <laughs> some green studs. And they do move up and down, so I think that's a like a pretty good representation of it and then you got the uh the main console so i actually know what each lever does which is pretty neat <laughs> i'm not gonna go over it all but like for example look at that i did try to make it as accurate as possible all right this is where you could actually put your screwdriver into but again i have the 9 and 10th doctor figures just in my closet though so i can't get them but yeah just turning it you can see i've added a bunch of little studs and buttons for weird different uh you know controls and stuff um there's actually it looks like a cracked tile there which i mean is sad to see lego uh break down and stuff but i think it works well for this tardis because it's so rugged and falling apart all the time in the show anyway so i think it works well <laughs> got some more levers and stuff and then of course the uh dematerialization lever right here which it's hard to friggin move around oh my god what well, that's great. Kind of funny that I mentioned uh, using broken pieces and that just breaks on me right there. <laughs> it actually still holds well together, so I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, finally, there's the screen, which actually can come out pretty easily, even though I don't think it's supposed to in the in the show so we'll just put that back but it does move around pretty well like it does in the show now i don't remember what i did to angle this all down like that i remember i know with this one people were very impressed with how they added six panels all how it is with this um with this one i think it kind of is six panels i did fill the gaps so i don't know if you count that as six or not but i'm curious to how i did this so i'm gonna actually take it apart okay so that makes sense i used that piece it's kind of hard to see what piece it is. I think it's actually this piece right here. You see the, uh, you see this silver piece? Yeah, one of them. So Lego designers, I knew it before you guys did it. So that's kind of funny. And I just use clips and studs to put it all on. So it actually fits, you know, pretty nicely. And I really like this build. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Honestly, I think they should have made this one instead of this one. I feel like this one's more recognizable too, but of course, I'd be fine if they did both. I would have bought them both, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I don't really think I have any other mocks hit laying around right now. Yeah, I don't see any. So you'll have to wait like maybe even a year to see more things that I build myself. So that sucks. But <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed, click subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. And of course, fly on.